Welcome, Tricksters! Today, we'll be reacting to Impossible Odds by That's Amazing. Newton, hit it. Level one. I'll never surrender. As the levels get higher, the odds get lower. I'll never surrender. That was impressive! Sure was, Newt. Now, how do you think they pulled it off? Let's draw out the path. Now that's one impressive angle. An angle occurs when two lines meet at one point. In this case, the point would be at the tree. The angle's the pizza-looking thing, right? Uh, yes, sure. Anyways, angles are measured in degrees. There are 360 degrees in a circle, so every angle is smaller than 360 degrees. In order to make this shot, the ball had to follow the perfect angle between the tree and the hoop. That must have taken a lot of tries. I did not realize these guys had to think so much about all that math stuff, Jenny Bit. Let's watch another. Special delivery. I've never seen a mailman do that. This is another one that would have taken tons of planning, Newton. Just take a look outside. For the letter to fall into the mailbox, they needed to make sure the breeze was blowing at a specific speed and intensity. If it was any windier or less windy, they wouldn't be able to pull it off. Huh. Well, that's breezy, but it's not easy, is it, Jenny Bit? Very funny, Newton. Let's watch another. This fight. I've added a tape roll to a fan. I'm gonna spin it about this fast, kick one ball through the tape roll, and we celebrate. Are you kidding me? We're going this fast. Dude, yeah. it looks like a spear. You can't even tell that it's a tape roll. It looks like a ball. This fight ain't over. I'll never surrender. Hey, this is a cool one. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, Newton, how do you think they made that happen? Uh, he's got a really good arm. Nah, he has a solid grasp of science and patience. The boys in this video didn't get all these tricks done in one try. They had to change the speed of the fan multiple times because they learned that if it was spinning too fast, the ball wouldn't go through the hoop. They had to learn through failing. Oh, man, Jenny Bit, I don't like failure. It makes me feel bad. Failure is actually a good thing, Newton. While it might feel a little crummy at the time, it actually helps us to be better learners and harder workers. So when we finally get it right, it feels that much better. You know, the first time I tried to cook a pizza, I completely burned it. But after a few more tries, I found the perfect temperature and cooked it just right. Mmm, pizza. See, Newton, when we recognize our failures, we can learn how to improve and eventually succeed. Pretty cool. We can learn a lot from these tricks, huh? Oh, for sure. Do you want to try some of our own? Let's do it! Hooray! 